Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the solution of this system of equation, so first, we need to rewrite this given. So by grouping all x and all y, so this becomes 9x squared, then plus 54x and 4y, since we only have one y, so just bring down. So negative 4y squared then equals, so transpose this positive 45. So that becomes negative 45. Then we need to factor out this 9 or put this 9 outside. And this becomes x squared then plus this 54 divided by 9, so this is 6x, then minus 4y squared equals negative 45. Then for this equation, so we can do completing the square, so just take this number, divide by 2, take the square, and this becomes 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 3 squared, that's 9. And we need to add this number to this equation. So we have 9 times x squared plus 6x, then plus this number, so plus 9, then minus 4y squared equals negative 45 so since we added 9 on the left side and we have this number outside so we need to multiply these two numbers then add to the right side so plus 9 times 9 then simplify and apply the factoring so we have 9 then times the factor for this equation, so the factors of x squared, that's x times x, and since the middle term is positive, so this is plus, then the factors of 9, that's 3 times 3, so we have x plus 3, then quantity to the power 2. Then bring down negative 4y squared, then equals this negative 45 plus 9 times 9, this one is 81. Then simplify, so we have 9 times x plus 3 to the power 2, then minus 4y squared, then equals... So this negative 45 plus 81, so that's positive 36. Then this time, we can use now the substitution method because from this equation, so we have this x plus 3 to the power 2 and x plus 3 quantity to the power 2. So substitute this value to this x plus 3 quantity to the power 2. So this equation becomes 9 times, so this 4y plus 4, then minus 4y squared, transpose this positive 36, that becomes negative 36 equals 0. Then simplify, so multiply this 9 times 4, that's 36y, then this 9 times 4, that's positive 36, then minus 4y squared minus 36 equals 0, then combine like terms, so this positive 36 and negative 36, this is 0. Then we have now negative 4y squared plus 36y equals 0. 
Then for this equation, we can apply the common monomial factor. So this negative 4 and positive 36, the factor is negative 4. And y squared and y, the factor is y. Then to simplify, so this negative 4y squared divide by this factor, divide by negative 4y, so cancel 4, cancel y, so we still have 1y. Then this 36y divide by negative 4y, and 36 divide by negative 4. That's negative 9, then cancel y, then equal 0. Then to solve for y, so equate these two factors to 0. So we have negative 4y equals 0, and the other one, y minus 9 equals 0. Then divide by negative 4 both sides, so therefore y equals so 0 divided by negative 4, that's 0. Then the other one, so y equals transpose this negative 9. So y equals positive 9. So these are the values for y. Then this time to solve for x, so using this equation to solve for x, so again, to solve for x from this equation, so start with y at y equals 0. So we have x plus 3 to the power 2 equals 4 times 0 plus 4. Then simplify. So this is x plus 3 to the power 2. Then equals, so this one is 0, that's 4. Then to solve for x, so take the square root both sides. So cancel. So we have now x plus 3 equals, and the square root of 4, that's positive and negative 2. Then we have now x equals transpose this positive 3, so that becomes negative 3. So we have positive and negative 2 minus 3. Then to find the values for x, so x equals the positive 2 minus 3, and the other one, x equals the negative 2 and negative 3. So we have now x equals positive 2 minus 3, that's negative 1. Then the other one, x equals negative 2 and negative 3, that's negative 5. Then this time for the other value for y, so at y equals positive 9, so we have x plus 3 quantity to the power 2 equals 4 times y and y is positive 9 plus 4. Then we have x plus 3 quantity to the power 2 then equals this 4 plus 9 is 36 plus 4. Then this is x plus 3 quantity to the power 2 equals 40, so 36 plus 4. Then take the square root. So this becomes x plus 3 equals square root of 40, but since square root of 40 is equal to square root of 4 times square root of 10, so that's square root of 40. So we have now x plus 3 equals the square root of 4. This one is positive and negative 2. Then square root of 10. Then transpose this positive 3 to the other side. 
So, x equals plus and minus. So, this 2 times the square root of 10. So, in decimal, so we have 2, then square root of 10 in decimal, that's 6.32. So, this is plus and minus 6.32. Then, this positive 3 becomes negative 3. Then, to solve for x, so we have x equals to so the positive 6.32 minus 3. And the other one, x equals the negative 6.32 minus 3. So, x equals to so the 6.32 minus 3. Positive 3.32. Then the other one. So x equals negative 6.32 and negative 3. That's negative 9.32. So therefore the solution of this system of equation. So for x. Negative 1. Y is 0 and also x is negative 5 y is also 0 then x is positive 3.32 y is 9 then the last one x is negative 9.32 and y is positive 9. So these are the solutions of these nonlinear equations.